Good evening, everyone. Hello. 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 Good evening. Good evening, Jennifer. Good evening, Adriana. Hi, good evening. Hello. Hey, hello, Josue. Good evening, teacher. Hello. Good evening. Hey, who's Hiroki? Hello, Hiroki. <clears throat> okay, I can see you, Adriana, Jonathan, I have oh, Hiroki, Josue, Josue Miguel, Andrea, eh, Ileana, Chansi. I think this is the first time I uh, I teach you, right? Hey, I, I don't know, but I, I, I can see that Zoom is facing problems tonight. I don't know what's going on, but I will try to do my best over here, okay? Okay. Okay, now let me see how many, I will check how many participants do I have in this group. Uh, you are 18 people, all right? 18. I have Adriana eh, Gretel, Andrea Esmeralda, Claudia Jocelyn, David Alonso, Francisco Alexander, Gabriela Guadalupe, Glendi eh, Elisette, Ileana Beatriz, Irving Hiroki, Jennifer, eh, let's see, Jennifer Raquel, Jonathan Vladimir, Josue Miguel, Carla Tatiana, Catherine Jasmine, Uh, Luisa, Ariana, Mayra Patricia, Nerling, eh, Jaciel, and Jancy Jamilet. Ok, esos son los participantes que espero yo acá en el grupo, ok. Eh, meanwhile, we start, eh, meanwhile, the, all, all of the people gather. I have 14 participants. Well, 13 and me, ok. And you know, uh, I will I will introduce myself. I don't know. I will introduce myself. I uh, know. Yes, I think it's better, right? Uh, by telling you something <clears throat> um, quite important, but before uh, doing so. Okay. Okay, I will share this. I will start by, by doing this. Okay, are you able to see uh, the, the presentation? Yes. All right, very good. Okay, so I will introduce myself and um, and I will, I will let you know a little about the way we're gonna be working here so that we can take advantage of the time. You know, classes start at nine and we finish at 10. 60 minutes uh, full English, right? And you need to be prepared to participate actively in the class. Let me see. All right, as you can see over here, My name is Enrique Ernesto Morales, all right? And I have been an English teacher for more than 12 years. I know a little about English and also I know a little about French. And I um, formally, I mean, I started working as a, as a teacher um, since 2011, okay? You can call me Teacher Kike. There's no any problem if you call me Teacher Kike, okay? Uh, I want you to feel comfortable in the class and I want you to do your best over here, okay? Now, hey, Zoom, what's going on with you, Zoom? Hmm. 
Okay, there is a, a, a WhatsApp group uh, where you are going to um, get, uh, to be noticed about any information that's uh, important for the group, okay? Also, I can share some uh, links just for you to have some review about the class we have been studying. I can share some some um, I can share some some links, some information that you uh, can go there and practice by your own. Okay. You know we are going to have a. Uh, some activities. And it is a, uh, well, I, I will stop this. I think it's better. I'm sorry, people. No me van a poder ver. Veo que está, tengo problemas con, con, con Zoom. Okay, pero si me van a escuchar. Okay, it is necessary for you to get in 80% of uh, the Hover assignments in evaluations in order for you to complete the course satisfactory. The homework assignments, uh, well, you can meet the homework assignments in the platform. And it is recommendable for you to work there just after the class, but if you're not able to do so, you can do it during the day or previously uh, getting into the class. All of the activities and topics um, will uh, have uh, need to be completed um, before every single Friday, okay? And, um, you know, there is there is um, something, uh, some information that is sent to, to Insofor quickly. That's why it's quite important for you to, to work in the platform. The material is, um, is going to be shared depending on the necessities of the group, right? So I will notice if it is um, necessary for you to see a video, for you to complete an exercise, or for you to do a, a specific activity. We're gonna see it during the during the the course. You know there are uh, some activities and evaluations, and you know this is the way we work during during the um, during the course. Quick one. Section one in the platform and section two. Second week, section three. I mean, you have to complete all the activities in section three, and then you will have a midterm. Week number three, we're going to be working on the section number four. And in the week number four, we're going to go over the section number five and the final test. Uh, there are some classroom um, agreements class agreements, okay? So it's quite important that if you are not participating that you keep uh, the, microphone, the, micro, the microphone off. I will check the list of tenders, okay? Every single night, I will do it. And uh, do me the favor to type your complete name in, in, in Zoom. Your camera need to be activated Okay, and this is very important, your participation. I want you to be um, an active student, someone that's willing to participate all the time. And uh, I mean, practice English as much as possible during the session. You, you can use the chat. If you have any questions, you can use it. Okay, you can raise your hand if you want to participate. And this is very important. Also, I want you to respect each other and please, uh, well, I will do it. I will respect you um, and please do me the favor to respect me and respect your classmate, which is also very important. You know, um, we want you to stay in 80% or to assist in 80% to the course, okay? Uh, I, I want you to work in the platform. Today is the first day. For, for the course, you know, the, the schedule that's being established, okay? Uh, uh, regularly, it's going to be from Monday through Thursday, but this week and the next one, I think we're gonna be working on Friday also. Keep the camera on, 
okay, and the, and the curse, I mean, the, the class itself is 60 minutes. The, um, it continues telling us to work in the platform, okay? And if you do so, and you if you just um, get into the class, every single class, if you work in the platform, if you uh, do the homework assignments, et cetera, well, you are gonna get your diploma for sure. We're gonna be, we're gonna go over listening activities, speaking activities, reading activities, and writing activities. We're gonna be working with um, individual work, couple activities, or activities in purse, and group activities. Welcome to your English course. Now, what can you tell me about you? And you're gonna take one minute to tell me what's going on with you, all right? So I'm sorry because I have problems with my camera. I, 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 I don't know, I will try once again. Okay, now um, I will start. Adriana, what can you tell me about you? Okay, uh, everyone, my name is Adriana Gretel. I live in Napopa and I have a one child and I am 26 years old. I don't work, but I would like to. And I study English here and I can do the best of, of me only. Fantastic, that's what I want you to do, to do your best here. Uh, what can you tell me about you, Luisa? Hello? Luisa? Maybe Lisa is facing problems with microphone. Well, I will get back, Lisa. Uh, what can you tell me about what can you tell me about Catherine has been? Catherine, what can you tell me about you? Hello. Um, Hello. Sorry, um, I'm <laughs> oh, I'm sorry to know about it. Yeah. Uh, my name is Catherine Jasmine Guatemala. I live in Alopilta. I am 25 years old. Um, only. Only done. All right. That's enough. Thank you. Hey, what about you, Claudia? What can you tell us about you? Hi. Good evening. Hello. My name is Claudia Jocelyn Rivas. I live in San Vicente and I had um, 26. You are 26? Uh -huh. yes. okay. <laughs> All right, thank you. I'm sorry because, you know, I I'm asking you to activate your camera, but you know, my camera is facing problems just right now. You will see. It starts working very well, but suddenly, you know, yeah, you see, I have problems with it. Uh, what can you tell me, um, Jansi? What can you say? What can you tell us about you? Hello, everybody. Good night uh, or good evening. <laughs> My name is Jansi Anaya. I live in Santa Tecla. I am uh, 36 years old. I am work, uh, I am realtor. Uh, I have a pet and I love to uh, walk with my pet in the park. Um, uh, my hobbies are uh, um, run and read, uh, so poperas and or, or another uh, type of, of um, oh, or another type, no? And, I am happy to be here with us. Fantastic. Thank you, Jancy. Francisco. Hello, Francisco. Who's Francisco? Hello. Good Hello. evening, everybody. My Good name evening. is Francisco Villafuerte. You tell me, you call me Paco. I live in London. 
I want to uh, learn English with English Corporation. Wow, fantastic. Now you are in London. Yes. Okay. Very good. I think the weather is not that friendly there, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Really, really good. Now, everybody can call you Paco, right? Yeah, everybody call me Paco. <laughs> okay, Paco. Good to meet you. Nice I'm to really meet happy you. to meet you. Here we have Thank Carla you. Tatiana. Hello. Who's Carla Tatiana? Uh, can you listen me really good or, or not? Yeah, we can listen to you perfectly. Okay, my name is Carla Villanueva. Um, I am single. Um, I live with my mother and sister. I have eight dogs. Uh, is, uh, can I explain me in Spanish? No. No, I'm sorry, <laughs> not, not, not right now. Okay. Is um, very work in this house. All right. Uh, <laughs> for the dog. Uh, okay, okay, Carla. Thank you very uh, much. Any, uh, any more? No, I don't know. Uh, if you want to say something else, go ahead. Uh, um, what do you say, pregunta? Oh, to ask. I love in this moment. Uh, uh, ask questions? Yes. You, uh, you teacher, ask me. I, oh, don't, no. I don't say don't I don't worry. say anymore uh, the, of my person. Uh, okay, Kat, don't worry because you know we are just getting into a class and then you're going to speak more, okay? Uh, my uh, my hope in the uh, with this course is uh, have a employ in a call center bilingual. Okay, oh. okay, thank you. Who's Jennifer Raquel? Hello, good evening, everybody. Uh, my name is Jennifer. But people call me is Jen. Uh, I'm 27 years old. I'm living in San Marcos. Uh, I have two children. Um, I like uh, listen to music. And my favorite um, music is rock. That's rock all. music. Okay, thank you. Hiroki, what can you tell us about you? Hi. My name is Hiroki. Um, I live in Santa Ana. Um, I am studying the university. I have 24 year, years old. Um, so let's go. That's it, very good, thank you. Mayra Patricia, hello. We, we cannot listen to you, Mayra. Activate your microphone, please. Sorry. Good evening. My name is Mayra Patricia. I live in San Salvador. I, I am 38 years old. Um, I work, I am lawyer. I have uh, my own legal office um, I love it pasta um, I live alone and you live alone and you love pasta that's yes, quite interesting very it. good <laughs> <laughs> okay David hello David hi about... everybody hi um, my name is David but I like to be called David. Um, I was born in Santa Ana, but I moved to San Salvador uh, when I was 18 years old. Now I'm 
I'm 25 years old and I really uh, enjoy learning English and I hope to get along with all of you. Thanks. Fantastic. Thank you. Hello, Glendy. Hello. Hi. Uh, who is Glendy? Hello. Hello. Uh, my name is Glendy Flores. I live in Tacachico. Uh, my favorite hobbies are watching TV and read. And I love, I like pop music. And I had two dogs. And that's it, I think. <laughs> okay, enough. Thank you. Jonathan, what about you? Hello. Hello. My name is Jonathan Salinas. I live in Chalatenango. I work at my home as a freelancer and really like playing video games, uh, playing soccer. And I like to eat hamburgers. And you love Only. hamburgers. <laughs> yes. Okay, thank you. Uh, Nerling. Hello, Nerling. Uh, hello. Hello. Hello, my name is Nerlin Hassian. Um, I live in San Alejo, La Union. I work in delivery. Yes, thank you. Wow, that's quite good. Thank you, Nerlin. Let me see. Jancy, okay. I think Jancy, no, Jancy already participated, right? Yeah, that's right. Ileana. Hello, Ileana. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, my name is Ileana, but you can call me Ely. Um, I'm 28 years old. I love pets. I have two pets, um, dogs. And I like to exercise at home. And, and you love to exercise. <laughs> Good. Good to know. Hey, you know, the topic for tonight is about, about exercising. I think you're, you're going to have a great time tonight. Yes, I think so. <laughs> okay, Glendy. Now, Glendy already participated. Is that right? Yes, it's right. Yeah, okay. I have Claudia Jocelyn. Hello, Claudia. Uh, no. Claudia already participated, no? Yes, I participated. Oh, yeah, that's right. So, Claudia, let me see. Josue Miguel is missing, right? Yeah. Um, hello, everyone. Good evening. I'm Miguel, Porti Miguel Portillo. I'm 20 years old. I've been studying English for approximately for one year, and I want to increase my English skills here. Oh, good. That's the goal. That's the main goal, right? For everybody to learn and to improve, to improve your level of English. Okay, good. Is there anybody missing? Falta alguien que se presente? No. I think we are done, right? Hey, now, you know, I, I, I will try to um, say a couple of words in Spanish so that everything is, uh, is clear. Bueno, ya escucharon que mi nombre es Enrique Ernesto Morales. Todos me dicen teacher Kike, ¿ok? No hay ningún problema en que ustedes me digan teacher Kike. Eh, les voy a pedir que se sientan a gusto en la clase, ¿ok? Uh, cómodos, no les digo cómodos porque algunos malinterpretan la palabra cómodo. Entonces, pero sí que se sientan a gusto, ¿ok? Porque si ustedes se sienten bien en la clase, sus aportes van a ser muy significativos y van a perder el temor de equivocarse. Que muchas veces el temor de equivocarse es el que hace que no participemos. 
No sé si a ustedes les ha pasado, pero algunas veces como que uno quiere participar, pero ese miedito de que el que dirá el compañero o la compañera respecto a mi nivel de inglés, como que no, no nos deja avanzar mucho, ¿verdad? ¿A alguien le ha pasado eso? Quiero ver, levante la manita. Quiero ver las manitas, ¿qué le ha pasado? Ah, pues creo que... Ah, pues sí. A la mayoría, según veo. Entonces, vamos a vencer ese miedo. El miedo a equivocarnos. Eso es lo primero que la primera tarea que les voy a dejar. ¿Ok? Cuando nosotros pensamos eso, nos vamos a sentir mejor. ¿Ok? Y como estamos entre adultos, creo que lo más indicado es que nos apoyemos los unos con los otros. El año pasado tuve la oportunidad de atender un grupo muy, muy especial porque ellos se ayudaban tanto en, en el grupo de WhatsApp. Unos eran de San Miguel, otros de San Vicente, otros de Santa Ana, pero estaban conectados y estaban este, en el, durante el día. Ellos estaban conectados este, haciendo alguna actividad. Eso fue súper genial. Espero que lo logremos acá en este grupo también, que nos apoyemos unos con otros. Ok, si hay una sugerencia... Hey, estamos viendo el presente simple. Hey, aquí encontré esto del presente simple. Quizás es la manera como yo lo enseñe, quizás mmm, un 50% lo va a comprender, un 60, un 70, no lo sé. Pero entonces debemos buscar diferentes vías, no quedarnos solo con el, lo que dice el teacher. ¿Ok? De esa manera vamos a avanzar. Otra cosa. Para aprender inglés... Necesito que ustedes estudien o practiquen los siete días de la semana. Ok, no sé qué momento van a elegir, pero dedíquenle por lo menos una hora diaria, por lo menos una hora diaria en la sesión y fuera de la sesión. Ok, si ustedes lo hacen, seguramente su nivel de inglés va a avanzar muchísimo. Eh, son como, como consejos que la la misma experiencia como docente me, me lo ha dado. No quiero que se vaya a malentender que vamos a tener una hora durante cada noche de lunes a jueves y que con eso pues creamos que eso ya, ya es suficiente. La verdad necesito que ustedes hagan de su, pongan de su parte también. De acuerdo. Um, espero que lo, que lo logremos. Y pues que al finalizar el curso, ustedes se vayan orgullosos de, 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 de lo que han logrado durante el tiempo que nos permitan estar juntos. ¿Ok? Dicho eso, vamos a... Bueno, las clases, 100% en inglés. ¿Ok? Um, por favor, no, no se van a estar cambiando el español. Todos tenemos herramientas en internet, por ahí pueden abrir una pestañita con un traductor o con una herramienta que ustedes consideren necesaria para pues, este, mantenernos siempre en un ambiente en donde se hable inglés. De hecho, el curso es inglés, pues no nos vamos a, a estar en, 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 en clases de español. Ok, so I think we, are, we, we have like 30 minutes to start, ok. We have 30 minutes to start. Les pido las disculpas del caso porque veo que Zoom como que tiene problemas cuando yo activo mi, mi cámara. Ok. De repente empieza a fallar. Entonces, si eso sigue sucediendo, voy a desactivar mi cámara. Ok, let me see. We're going to, I will start. Ok. Now, we're going to go over the, the platform. Ok. En la plataforma... Eh, jovencitos, les pido que por favor la trabajen, que hagan pues lo que se les solicita, pueden avanzar, ok, no necesariamente se van a quedar con lo que, con la clase de este día, no, si ustedes quieren avanzar, lo pueden hacer perfectamente. Let me see. Okay, let me let me know if you're able to see the information here. This is pre-intermediate, right? So this is a group, pre-intermediate group, right?
Now, uh, as you can see over here, we're gonna we're going to be exposed to a lesson objective uh, that's going to address our our course, right? Uh, for example, tonight we're gonna be exposed to listen to a conversation about how often people do an activity. Okay. Now you have the information in Spanish also, right? So you see the platform it provides information in both languages, English and Spanish, all right? So, but uh, as I told you before, we're gonna go over it. Um, we're gonna read it uh, all the time in English, okay? Not in Spanish. Well, there's a conversation over here and I, I, I want to know if, the, if you practice um, some exercise. What do you see here? Uh, let me see. I think it's better if we play the the video. Okay. It says, you're really fit, Paul. Do you exercise a lot? Well, I almost always get up early and I lift weights for an hour. Seriously? Sure. And then I often go in light skating. Wow. How often do you exercise like that? About five times a week. What about you? Oh, I hardly ever exercise. I usually just watch TV in my free time. I guess I'm a real coach potato. All right, so let me see. We're gonna we're gonna go over it so that you can get familiarized with the topic and by listening to this conversation. And if you're able to read it, well, read it because later you are going to participate. Here we Week. Go. What about you? Oh, I hardly ever exercise. I you... usually just watch TV. Give me one second. Hello, please. we're now in section six. How often do you exercise? In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation about how often they do an activity. Pay attention to the question, how often, and what they use to respond. I hardly ever exercise. You're really fit, Paul. Do you exercise a lot? Well, I almost always get up early, and I lift weights for an hour. Seriously? Sure. And then I often go inline skating. Wow. How often do you exercise like that? About five times a week. What about you? Oh, I hardly ever exercise. I usually just watch TV in my free time. I guess I'm a real couch potato. In our next session, I will teach you adverbs of frequency so you can respond how often you do a particular activity. I hardly ever ex. Okay, that's a conversation, right? So, in the question that we have there is like, how often do you exercise? Now, question: Do you do you like to exercise? Yes or no? Yes, I like. Yeah. Do you go yes, to the gym? Like. Do you go to the gym or do you oh. exercise at home? I go to the gym, I exercise um, on the um, strip with uh, by cycling. All right, so you go cycling. Pretty good. What about the rest? What about Luisa? Do you exercise, Luisa? We cannot listen to you. No, Lisa seems to, to, to have like problems with the microphone. Uh, Jancy, do you exercise? Yes, I do exercise. I do CrossFit and I run. And you run. What about you, Hiroki? Hey, Hiro, it's Hiro, Hiroki's gone, right? Well, no, Hiroki's over here. Hello, Hiroki.
Well, there is a question, right? Do you exercise? And you say, yes, I do. Do you exercise? Uh, Francisco says, yes, I, yes, he, he does, right? Jennifer, do you exercise? No, I do not uh, Okay, so the answer that you have to pray is like, yes, I do, or no, I don't, all right? Yes, I do, no, I don't. That's it. Uh, Catherine, do you exercise? Uh, yes, I go to the gym. Uh, yes, I do. I go to the gym. Jancy, Jancy told us that she she you 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 said that you go to the to the gym, right? Yes. Yeah. I go to the gym, a CrossFit. I do CrossFit. Okay, uh, Mayra, do you exercise? Yes, I go to I do exercise. I go to the gym every day. Every day. So one, remember, one hour. one hour. Okay, you spend there and now. Uh, remember, when you are asked a question with do or does, then you say yes, I do, or no, I don't, and then you continue. You you continue um, providing further information. For example, you say, do you exercise? Yes, I do. Period. And then you say, uh, well, I usually go to the gym. Uh, sometimes I go running with my friend, etc. Right. So, but the thing is that you, you first, you need to say yes, I do or no, no, I don't. David, do you exercise? David. Yes, yes, I do. I, I usually practice sports with my friends. Oh, good. Now that's the way it is, right? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Then you provide further information. Adriana, what about you? Do you exercise? No, I don't. I prefer to watch Bishop <laughs> it's a video with my son and or TV. <laughs> hey, you know, I love sincere people. Congratulations because you you don't you don't lie at anybody here. Glendy, do you exercise? No, I don't. I no. almost never do exercise. You almost never exercise. Okay, Ileana, what about you? Uh, yes, I do. I exercise four times at a week at home. I lift weight and I do spinning. Good. Claudia, do you exercise? Yes, I do. In the home. You exercise at home. Uh, yes. Okay. Now you know there. There are the, with this topic we we can speak a lot about uh, uh, different things, right? Like healthy and healthy food, and you know we can go uh, and look for information about about the topic. It's not only about uh, talking about exercising, but also the way we we um the 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 food we we eat. Okay. Now let me see. Now that you got familiarized with the topic, let us go over one activity, okay? Well, we're gonna see some uh, frequency adverse, right? Now, who can tell me about frequency adverse? What are frequency adverse, people? Usually often. Good. Sometimes. Usually, yeah. often, sometimes. Rarely. Rarely, okay. Oh, always. Always. Never. Never. Sometimes. Never. sometimes. Good. Rarely. Okay. okay, Hiroki, I'm sorry. I, saw, I just saw your, your, your message in the chat. We understand, Hiroki. Okay, so you know we're gonna learn uh, how to ask and answer questions by using adverse or frequency. Now, I told you, right? Hey, uh, do you exercise? You say yes, I do, or no, I don't. Just like that, right? If you wanted to provide further information, that you say yes, I do. I go to the gym. I go to the stadium. I practice soccer, uh, etc. Right? So you can include as many inform information as as you wish. Okay, but just right now we're gonna go over uh, the. Um, uh, questions by using the frequency adverse and by doing so we we have to see the following video okay i will i will okay so pay special attention because i will ask some questions at the end 
By the end of this session, you will learn how to ask and answer questions using adverbs of frequency. Hi everyone, in this session we will go over adverbs of frequency to indicate how often or not you do something. Let's listen up. How often do you exercise? I lift weights every day. I go jogging once a week. I play soccer twice a month. I swim about three times a year. I don't exercise very often. I don't exercise very much. Do you ever watch TV in the evening? Yes, I often watch TV after dinner. I sometimes watch TV before bed. Sometimes I watch TV before bed. I hardly ever watch TV. No, I never watch TV. Always. Almost always. Usually. Often. Sometimes. Hardly ever. Almost never. Never. I think it would help to know the position of the adverbs of frequency in a sentence. Subject plus adverb of frequency plus verb plus complement. So let's replace the structure with real sentences. He never plays baseball. We always go for a run. You hardly ever swim. Notice the position of the adverbs. Never, always, hardly ever. But let's talk about sometimes. Sometimes is a special case. It can go in the same position as the rest or it can go at the beginning or at the end of a sentence. For example, I sometimes go to a dance class. Sometimes I go to a dance class. I go to a dance class sometimes. How about you? How often do you exercise? How often do you do any sports activity? All right, that's it, right? Now, uh, exercise very now that we saw this info, well, you know, we're gonna, we're going to, can you listen to me, people? Yes, teacher. All right. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hey, you know, uh, the grammar structures are going to be seen. I mean, we're going to see the video. We're going to discuss if you have any questions, then you just let me know about the question. But the most important part in my course, I mean, in the English course is that you put into practice what you have in here. Because, you know, it's important to know about uh, the adverbs, okay? It's quite important and the position they take in a, in a sentence, right? Like for example, I lift weights every day. I go jogging once a week. I play soccer twice a month. I swim about three times a year. I don't exercise very often. Oh, very much. Do you ever watch TV in the beginning? Yes. Come on, I often watch TV. I sometimes watch TV. Sometimes I watch TV. I hardly ever watch TV, etc. Right? So this is the grammar. We um, I mean, this is a grammar that's being presented. But how are we going to put it into practice? Well, there are different activities, right? Different activities. And also uh, I will assign some homework assignment. Uh, what are you going to talk about this week? Well, I mean, tomorrow, what are you going to talk about? What will be a good topic for you to put into practice this? Daily routines. Ah, all right. That's a good topic, right? Daily routines, okay? Daily routines, that will be a good topic for you to be able to start working with so that tomorrow you can share something with us, okay? Um, la primera tarea que van a tener, por ahí en la presentación decía um, active uh, participation, right? Uh, participación activa, eso es sumamente importante en el curso porque mientras más practicamos, más reafirmamos nuestro conocimiento. Entonces, el día de mañana, ustedes nos van a hablar cómo es una semana típica en sus vidas. ¿Qué es lo que hacen durante la semana? ¿Ok? 
y le van a incluir los frequency adverbs. All right? Lo que hacen, lo que no hacen, lo que les gusta hacer, lo que no les gusta hacer, siéntanse libre, porque el tema es, what's your typical week like for tomorrow? So, tomorrow, todos van a estar preparados con una pequeña presentación. Se pueden gastar un minuto, dos minutos. Si alguien quiere gastarse cinco, pues pueden hacerlo perfectamente. ¿Ok? Pero este, recordemos que es, es de suma importancia que todos participemos, ¿verdad? Así que para el día de mañana, what's your typical week like? ¿Cómo es una semana típica de, en tu vida? ¿Ok? ¿Es that right? For tomorrow. Con eso vamos a iniciar mañana. Right, teacher. All right, ya tiene su primera okay. tarea. Vamos con, miren, necesito pasar la, la asistencia. Ustedes me ayudan, por favor, eh, visualizando ahí a los compañeros, porque quiero ver dónde tengo el listado. Aquí está. Va, yo lo voy a ir mencionando y ustedes me dicen, present teacher, I'm here teacher. Ok. Eh, Adriana Gretel. Here. Andrea Esmeralda. Present. Claudia Jocelyn. Present. David Alonso. Present. Francisco Alexander. Present teacher. Gabriela Guadalupe. Present. Eh, Glendy Elisette. Present. Iliana Beatriz. I'm here. Irving Hiroki. I'm here teacher. Very good. Now you saw the problem with microphone. That's fantastic. Jennifer Raquel. I'm here. Good. Jonathan Vladimir. Present teacher. Good. Josue Miguel. I'm here. Sorry. Okay. okay. <laughs> Carla Tatiana. Present. Good. Catherine Jasmine. Present teacher. Luisa Ariana. Can you see Luisa in the group? Luisa, hello, Luisa. No, Luisa is not in the class, right? In chat. Is ah, in oh, she answered, she answered in the chat. Good. Um, Mayra? Patricia? Present. Good. Present. Nerling? Present teacher. Good, Nerling. And Jancy? I'm here, teacher. Good. Hey, I have a hundred percent of the participants in my class. I'm really glad because of that. Ah, algo que les quería decir es que este cuando nosotros iniciamos la sesión, el tiempo empieza a contarse de manera individual. Que quiere decir que si yo me conecto a la sesión solo 30 minutos, esos 30 minutos quedan reflejados en el sistema. Entonces, este, por eso les hago el llamado a que uh, pues, nos mantengamos conectados los 60 minutos. 60 minutos clases, practicando. Y cuando todos participan, el tiempo ni se siente. ¿Verdad? Lo más importante acá es que ustedes practiquen y que su inglés, por supuesto, mejore. No sé si hay... Vamos a hablar. Tengo 10 minutos. Eh, vamos a hablar de las expectativas que ustedes tienen con respecto al curso. Francisco. Ah, ah pero, pero, pero vamos a incluirle otra cosa. Vamos a hablar de las expectativas y también vamos a decir eh, cuál va a ser nuestro esfuerzo. ¿Qué es lo que yo voy a dar como, como participante para que mis expectativas sean cumplidas. Francisco. Uh, ok, uh, my expectative here is in early English. Um, we uh, uh, meet uh, the other people. Um, and uh, I can, uh, everything I do for learning. Good. Very good, Jennifer. 
You can, you can say it either in English or in Spanish. Puedo usar inglés o español en esta parte. Ok. Um, bueno, me encanta el inglés. I like it. Uh, English. I love it. English. Eh, uh, deseo aprender tanto por metas personales como también para mi familia. Okay. Y yo sé que con el curso lo voy a lograr. Ok. Y poner de mi parte también. Excelente, eso es sumamente importante, que se pongan metas. ¿Cómo se ven ustedes al final de este año? ¿Cómo va a haber eh, eh, mejorado su, su inglés al final de este año? Al final del curso, este curso que estamos eh, ahorita. ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo piensan? ¿Cuánto van a haber aprendido? Jansi. Well, uh, I... You hear me? Sure. Okay. I need learning English because in my work is very important because I I receive seller in oh, be, be, oh, people the other countries and I need to uh, talk with with them. No? But I I am trying to. Uh, listen to music in English, watching movies in English, read in English, because the listening and the comprehension is very, uh, is a little, uh, is better for me, but uh, the talk is, is very uh, difficult, <laughs> but I try to um, practice more. Good. Now I won't push everybody to, to participate, right? I need volunteers. What are your expectations and what are you uh, what, what are you going to do in order to reach your goals? That's a question, right? Now anybody, volunteers. Eh, hola. Okay, hello, Jonathan. Eh, sí, lo voy a decir en español. Okay. Este, realmente yo espero que en este curso sí podamos practicar más como que las conversaciones, que yo siento que pues se agradece la ayuda de estos cursos que se nos dan a nosotros, pero siento que a veces se queda muy corta la conversación que tenemos entre alumnos, sino que a veces solo nos dedicamos a escuchar y creo que para el inglés es bien importante que también participemos. Exacto. Y pues de mi parte yo espero eh, venirle dedicando eh, tiempo, como usted lo menciona, todos los días y no solo en la clase, sino en las diferentes actividades que yo pueda realizar. Solamente gracias. Perfecto, Jonathan. Miren lo que dice Jonathan en ese momento importante. Eh, pues resulta que mientras más practiquen, mejor, o sea, sus, sus language skills se van a, por supuesto, van a mejorar. Ok. Um, de hecho, mañana ya tienen una tarea. Quiere decir que vamos a gastarnos que alrededor de 15 minutos. 20 minutos, dependiendo de lo que ustedes vayan a participar, porque voy, voy a elegir cinco personas. Y esto es otro, otra cosa que quería decirles, y se lo dije al otro grupo. Cuando yo les pida que participen, no me den una respuesta negativa. Siempre quiero que estén listos. ¿Ok? Siempre listos, aunque, aunque, aunque no estemos, o sea, aunque en el día usted no haya, no haya tenido mucho tiempo como para, para practicarlo lo suficiente, pero a mí me interesa ver cómo usted está avanzando, ¿verdad? Entonces, ¿y, y cómo lo voy a hacer si, 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 si alguien no, no practica? Hiroki. Yeah, um, I'm going to the me part for the little English. I want to have talking more uh, English for communicate with friends. Yeah. Uh, fantastic. You know? Yeah. Fantastic, Hiroki. Okay, fantastic. Okay. And let me see. Algo que les voy a recomendar es que como la hora es de 9 a 10, si le gusta el cafecito, que tenga un cafecito ahí en su escritorio. A mí me funciona mucho el cafecito. Ok. O, otra cosa que también recomendaron en algún momento a, a, a algunos otros participantes es tomarse un baño antes de, de entrar a la sesión. 
para que la mentecita esté como más fresca, que nos, que nos deshagamos de, la, de las dificultades del, cotidianas del día, enfocarnos más en el curso. Acuérdense que es solo una hora, son 60 minutos, y tenemos que estar 100% eh, concentrados. No sé si hay alguien más. Me. Ok, go ahead, Mayra. Um, my objective is uh, talk more friendly uh, and my, for uh, in, is talk about more when I travel to United States. For me, it's more difficult. Okay, I know. I know it's difficult, right? Eh, sucede que cuando alguien viaja a los Estados Unidos y pues se encuentra solo con norteamericanos es como como que es una barrera la, la verdad es una barrera el idioma porque they, quizás they talk very quickly very quickly that's right and they have different accents right tienen diferentes acentos este la pronunciación hay unos que pues no abren muy bien la boquita y Es que como en realmente es el idioma de ellos, ¿verdad? Ajá, entonces, vaya, para aclarla, aclararles ese punto. Todo idioma, inglés en el caso, tiene cuatro destrezas. ¿verdad? Listening, speaking, reading, and writing. Jonathan mencionaba el speaking, ¿ok? Vamos a trabajar en el speaking. Pero vamos a trabajar, vamos a tratar de trabajar en las cuatro destrezas. Listening, escuchar. Speaking, hablar, reading, leer, and writing, escribir. Ok, son cuatro cosas. En algunos momentos, pues no nos sintamos como un poquito incómodos porque quizás queremos más speaking. Más speaking porque a mí lo que me interesa es el eh, speaking o el writing o el listening. Y este, eh, deben de identificar cuál de esas cuatro se les dificulta más. Si es listening. Entonces, trabaje, trabajen y trabajemos en listening, pero ustedes van a tener la posibilidad de tomar un tiempo en casa, fuera del curso, para decir, bueno, esta hora me voy a dedicar a listening. Voy a buscar ejercicios en listening en línea. ¿Verdad? No necesariamente es, eh, eh, vayan a esperar que yo les diga, ah, vámonos a tal enlace. No, ustedes siéntanse libres a aprender cómo, cuándo y cuánto inglés se quieren llevar. ¿Ok? ¿Les parece? Yes. Okay, de esa manera vamos yes. a avanzar. Okay, so for tomorrow you have your first homework assignment. I think this is enough. And let us see tomorrow. God bless you and it's good been a pleasure. Night, hey, bye. Goodbye. Bye. Good night. 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 Hey, see you tomorrow. Good night. See you. See you.